Hello everyone, welcome back to my vlog pop video and today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the new Tiny Tina's Wonderland G Fuel Collector's Box. I have the package right here, we're going to be taking it out of this box of course and then we're going to be looking at the shaker cup, the flavor and just going over the tub and the flavor and uh, it will come with a sticker I think too. And then uh, we'll look at the collector's box, we're going to look at all of that. But before we start the video, I'm on the road to 100 subs, so please consider subscribing if you like G-Fuel videos, cut comms, sign up videos, challenges, and skits. Without further ado, let's unbox this flavor. Alright, here we go. I just took off the tape, or cut the tape, and we're going to be unboxing this right here. Let's do this. Oh boy. That is awesome. You know, I, I bought this flavor, by the way, just because it said freaking cherry vanilla. I am so down to try that. And uh, I love Borderlands. I know this isn't a Borderlands game. It's like a spinoff. But I love the Borderlands series. I love all that. Uh, but that's not even why I bought the flavor. I wasn't even playing the game whenever they released this flavor or where they announced the flavor. I bought it instantly. I, I joined the waitlist instantly. And uh, I didn't even play the game. I didn't know if I was going to like it. But I actually love the game. I am in love with this game. And uh, I, I play it like every day. I've, I'm trying to 100% it, honestly. But yeah, that's an added bonus. Uh, I didn't even get it for the game. I just, cherry vanilla sounds really good. But uh, yeah, here we go. I'm gonna be taking the collector's box out. This is, this might be my new favorite collector's box. Uh, I have a few back there. Um, my favorite one so far is probably Logix, just because it has the Bobby Boy thing. Also the lighting's bad because I don't have my lighting here. This is a little bit better, but yeah. So uh, nothing else in the box. We got just this. Oh, cool. Here is the box. The collector's box right here. Tiny Tina's Wonderland collector's box. So, looks like we have Tiny Tina right here with some dice and, uh, you know, the little font for Tiny Tina's Wonderland. We have a lot of dice around. Uh, if you don't know in the game, uh, if you collect dice, you get a lot of loot and you, got a, a, you get like a boost on your luck for loot. And on the side, we have endurance reaction energy focus these are all some skills you can get in the game um a little like tree design here with some more dice and uh the back is probably the best part it's uh princess butt stallion and uh tiny tina with a freaking book so yeah um i really love the design of this um if i didn't know what it was from i probably think it was some girly thing but yeah uh it's freaking Tiny Tina, and uh, I already see the tub, and it looks amazing. I see the freaking dragon. But yeah, without further ado, let's open this. By the way, here's the top. It's just a purple little font with G Fuel. But yeah, here we go. We're going to open this box and uh, get a look at the shaker cup and the tub. I always try not to rip these boxes whenever I open them, because as you can see, I collect the collector's boxes back there. But yeah, uh, I think we're going to look at the shaker cup first. Um, and we'll get into the tub in a minute. Here's the shaker cup. Um, ooh, I did not know that. It's like a it's like a translucent blue. You can literally see my face through here probably. Can you? <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, you can see through it. You can see kind of behind my setup. If I overdo it, I don't know. But you could see through it basically. And uh, very tiny, I'll say that. I mean, it is tiny Tina, but yeah. Um, very tiny picture right here. Let me see if I can focus it right here. Yeah, here. Uh, I don't know, it looks bigger on camera, but it's like kind of smaller, uh, especially the text. Uh, I mean, that, it's kind of weird, but uh, it's not bad. It's just, you know, different, I guess. And then, uh, yeah, we have G Fuel with all the, um, I'm pretty sure these are all the symbols for um, maybe upgrading like energy and damage and stuff. I don't know, but yeah, we got the G Fuel right here. We got Tiny Tina and uh, the Wonderlands kind of title here and that's basically it so let's open first of all i really like this it's really different i like the blue um and this is like a miami knights type of vibe with the with the uh, baby blue and the purple or the violet or whatever pink but let's open it up and see what the um mixer or whatever it's called inside it looks like and uh it looks like it's actually baby blue i don't know if i have a baby blue one I'm trying to think if Bobby Boy, I think Bobby Boys, or is it red? I don't know, but this is really cool, because usually the Shaker Cup inserts like these are red. And, uh, I mean, I, my, my favorite color, but, like, I, I want something different, okay? This is a different color than the usual, and it makes sense, because, you know, you got the baby blue um, lid or whatever, and then you have this, and then uh, the inside is the inside. Wouldn't you freaking know, but yeah. 
bottom, nothing different. They used to have uh, simply the best shaker shakers in the world at the bottom. I don't know why they stopped doing that. But yeah, anyway, this is it. This is the shaker cup. Nothing special, you know, nothing like crazy about it. Um, but yeah, that's it. Uh, you have obviously the, the same lines on here, uh, millimeters and whatever the heck out ounces or whatever. 16 ounces, 500 milliliters, all that stuff. If you didn't know, that's how much water you put in if you get a full freaking scoop. But yeah, uh, without further ado, let's get right into the freaking tub. This is insane. Here we go. Oh my gosh. It has a long name because if you play Borderlands, you'll know. You'll just know, okay? Tiny Tina's High Rolling Sparkly Boom Magic. It's a really long in freaking Wonderlands slash Borderlands style. And uh, yeah, uh, we have the freaking dragon. This is oh, so cool. Um, we have the Gamma logo right here, and, uh, yeah, um, this is basically it. So, let me see if I could get, like, a focus and kind of spin it around here. Nutrition facts, if you want to pause and look at that right there. Here's a little spin. We have the front right here, and it has the title and G Fuel, and down here we have all that stuff. I think it'd be really cool if they changed this, um, because, like, you know... In the game, you got like, you know, skills or whatever. They could do that logos for skills. Uh, they didn't do that, but I feel like, I don't know. I feel like they would have done that. I don't know. But yeah, here is freaking Tiny Tina right there and the Gamma logo. And that's basically it. That is the tub on the outside. But uh, let's get right into the fun part of the video. Taste testing, color testing, and smell testing. The flavor. Basically, just getting right into the flavor. So you use your nails, do this. You gotta leave the lid on, okay? You gotta leave the lid on because it makes the, the freaking tub look a lot better. Let's open it up. And uh, first of all, before we put it in a shaker cup, all that, we're gonna get a smell test of the powder and see what the powder looks like. Usually it looks just white, but uh, lemon lime is pink for some reason. So the powder might look different, I don't know. But uh, let's get a smell test of the powder. First of all, the powder is white. And uh, here we go. Very cherry. I wonder why. What the heck? This is different. It's a different, uh, freaking absorbent. It doesn't look like it. I just dropped powder all over my freaking desk. It doesn't usually look like this. This is the most exciting part. I'm gonna go upstairs, fill up this shaker cup. I got a clear one this time. I usually don't have a clear one for some reason. I'm not gonna use this one because I need to wash it and I don't feel like washing it right now. But uh, I'm gonna go fill up this with water. Fill this up with water, I mean. And then I'm gonna go back downstairs and we're gonna taste this and look at the color and everything and the smell. You already know. I just realized I should have done a thumbnail while uh, everything was in the collector's box. But yeah, um, by the way, I just saw a sticker. Forgot to show it. This is the sticker for the collector's box. Uh, this is really cool. I might put this on my laptop. I have two laptops and one of them doesn't have any stickers and I have a face sticker and I have that sticker. I'm probably gonna put that sticker on it, but yeah, um, I got one third because uh, it is like 2.30 at night and I need to go to bed, but I want to make this video because I cannot wait another day. I have to try this and I want to try this in the morning, but I don't have enough time to make a video then. So you, basically, I gotta, I gotta only drink one third because I gotta go to sleep. Anyway, here's the hardest part. Getting the freaking, by the way, ignore that. I know I just brought attention to it, but anyway. All right, we have about one third. It looks about half in the camera, but it's way more than that, or way less than that, I mean. Here we go. We're gonna put the freaking powder in this shaker cup. Here we go. Let's see what it looks like from here. It looks about kind of purplish right now. It has some blue and, uh, and red added colors or whatever. If my mom didn't know I drink G Fuel, she'd think I'm a cocaine addict at this point. There's literally G Fuel on my desk, like powder on my desk right now. It's looking more red now, but uh, let's put the freaking uh, insert in and the top in. Give it a shake. We're gonna get a color, a smell, and finally a taste test. Ooh, I think I guessed correctly. It looks purple, like a red purple, like a maroon, but kind of more purple than maroon. I get, I call this purple, but I could see how it'd be red. But yeah, I guess I guess right. Um, I mean, it was kind of obvious there was red and blue in there, but yeah. That is the color, officially. This is the color of Tiny Tina's Wonderland. And I mean, it makes sense because this is a very purplish, you know, vibe going on. But let's get the smell test. I think it's gonna smell very cherry-like. Um, vanilla is kind of a hard smell to 
capture, but yeah. I think it's gonna, you know, smell like cherry. Let's see if I'm right. I'm right. It's, it's kind of reminds me of cherry limeade. My favorite flavor of all time is cherry limeade, and it kind of reminds me of that. I hope, I hope it's, you know, the cherry in it is very cherry limeade. But it, it's, it's more, it smells like cherry limeade, but more wild cherry-ish. Okay, here we go. My first taste of Tiny Tina's Wonder, well, actually it's called Tiny Tina's High Rollin' Sparkly Boom Magic. Here we go. It's not bad. Like, I, I'm, okay. It's good, it's really good. It's just really uh weird because G Fuel has grown so much from, from when they started, so much from when they started. And uh, flavors used to be really simple back in the day. And this is a very simple flavor. And now, nowadays, every G Fuel flavor is crazy. You got freaking Phase 51 and freaking all these dessert flavors and uh, Shiny Splash and freaking, well, Shiny Splash isn't crazy, but uh, I don't know. There's, there's so many flavors where, like the classified flavors, that you put so much flavors in one. And it's so weird because this is a simple flavor. And it reminds me of like older G Fuel flavors. It's very simple. It's literally just cherry and vanilla. That's it. And the vanilla isn't really like a flavor. It's more of like a gives it texture and gives it, you know, kind of calms the cherry down. But the cherry is also kind of strong. It's weird. Like the vanilla should calm it down, but the cherry is too strong. I don't know. I mean, it, it's perfect for for this for tiny tina's because it, it it's like if cherry was a bomb like i don't have to explain i don't have to explain i'm not no terrorist or anything but like it reminds me of a bomb it's a freaking cherry bomb that's what it is uh and the character of tiny tina is a freaking what's it called demolitionist it's like because okay i just finished mystery flavor i miss it so much but whenever i use mystery flavor i'd usually mix it in with a sour flavor to calm it down have it not be as sour so i can you know taste the actual flavor without having to deal with the sour or or like pink lemonade i'd use mystery flavor to calm it down with this the the vanilla doesn't calm it down it, it just it gives it a texture but the cherry is crazy like it's a i don't know what kind of cherry it is i don't think it's a regular cherry it's something crazy because it's so strong it's so it's not even that strong it's like so unique and it's some sort of cherry i don't know final thoughts on this flavor yeah, uh, it's some sort of wild cherry or some different type of cherry with vanilla that gives it a, a texture, I guess. And also a little bit of flavor because vanilla is an actual flavor, of course. But, you know, when vanilla is used in G4, at least, it's less a flavor, more of like, uh, unless it's mystery flavor, then obviously. Uh, well, even then, they had lychee in it too. But yeah, like when vanilla is used in G4, it's more to add a texture and a little bit of flavor. And that's what this does. It gives it a texture, but the cherry is something else. And I don't give a big reaction because it's simple, which is good. Honestly, I like more simple G Fuel flavors. I don't like the crazy ones. I, I like the crazy ones, but like I like the simple ones better, like cherry limeade and I mean tropical rain isn't simple at all. But yeah, those are my two favorites. But cherry lime it reminds me of cherry limeade. Especially the smell. The smell reminds me so much of cherry limeade, which, I mean, the smell, like, with cherry limeade, it's not even just taste, like, the smell of it, I love, like, I love smelling it. I'll be like, that's just how I drink cherry limeade. I don't know where I'd rank it. Um, I remember when I first tried Area 51, or Phase 51, I always say Area 51. When I first tried Phase 51, I instantly put it in the top five, um, and I feel like it got knocked down at this point. Uh, I feel like Classified V2 might have replaced it, but yeah. I don't know where I would rank this. Um, pretty high, uh, but I don't know where. Uh, top 10, maybe. It might be in the ninth or 10th spot, I'd say. I don't know. And I, Eventually, I'm gonna have to do a re-ranking. I have two other flavors coming in as well, so I might do another ranking soon. I don't know. But uh, yeah, this has basically been the video. Uh, I highly recommend this if you like cherry. If you don't, I know Electric Shock. I always mention it in my videos. But I know Electric Shock doesn't like, he probably doesn't like this flavor. I haven't seen his review, but he probably doesn't like it because he does not like cherry in G Fuel. And this is literally just cherry, so yeah. Again, final thoughts. I love this flavor. I love the design of everything, especially since I love the game so much. Um, again, I got this 
I ordered this, or I didn't order it before, but I wait, I was on the wait list before I even got the game. And now that I have the game, and I love it so much, this flavor is even better, and this collector's box is even better. And uh, yeah, uh, I highly recommend this. If you like cherry, if you like vanilla, you're gonna love this flavor. And uh, if you like the game, I mean, get the freaking collector's box, why don't you? Yeah, uh, that's been the video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. Again, I'm on the road to 100 subs, so please consider subscribing if you like GFL videos, sniping videos, cut comms challenges, and skits. Enjoy the rest of your morning, afternoon, or night. Lighter, GFL, please sponsor me. And I'll see you in the next video.